Throughout history, the act of fishing has proved itself as a recreational activity, a sport, a form of entertainment, and sometimes an act of necessity. This documentary will cover the history and design of the modern-day baitcasting reel, including its relation to culture, discussion of the design process, effect on human experience, value of design, how the design fits in society, and its relation to the culture of consumerism. According to an article by Dr. James Henshaw titled Evolution of the Kentucky Reel, a watchmaker and silversmith from Paris, Kentucky named George Snyder designed the first multiplying reel, also known as the modern-day baitcasting reel, in the 1800s, which became known as the Kentucky Reel. According to an article by Gary Garth from Kentucky Monthly titled The Reel Man, this reel was designed and created to revolutionize and improve the experience of fishing as a sport and for recreation. Due to its design, this enabled fishermen, especially bass fishermen, to cast more smoothly and effectively in addition to the ability to retrieve line at a faster rate per revolution of the reel handle. These revolutionary characteristics contribute to why this design is seen as extremely valuable and why it is viewed as a creative product of culture. For example, this design contains a notable meaning representing the hobby and sport of fishing in the 1800s while emphasizing a great step towards the future of fishing and forever changing its culture. It also led to the introduction of other reel companies such as Millum Reels. The meaning of this design relates to a revolution of fishing as a whole in addition to new competition between fishing gear businesses at the time. Not only this, but it is the centerpiece of modern fishing culture in which many fishermen use the reel, especially within the culture of professional bass fishing, which it is seen as the gold standard. Regarding the embodiment of the design process, George Schneider observed the need for a multiplying reel for black bass fishing with live minnows and designed his first reel for himself in 1810 and eventually began to produce them for his club members. Notable aspects of his design included a narrow spool diameter, which results in a long spool that runs more rapidly. He also utilized beveled spool shaft points that fit into the recesses and center caps, including the outer disc plates of the reel. This aspect of design was effective in compensating for wear against the device. A flat brass drag string was also implemented for simultaneous use with the rest of the reel as well, acting as a benefit in catching larger fish. This process positively impacted the result, in which many impacts of Snyder's design included various improvements to the overall fishing experience due to his beneficial changes in the design. The design of the modern-day baitcasting reel has certainly enhanced the quality of the human experience in terms of fishing. Modern designs of the reel from companies such as Shimano and Abu Garcia are commonly used throughout the hobby of fishing. The use of the reel has made fishing more effective in terms of ease of use and assist in casting farther distances and accessing difficult spots. The modern-day baitcasting reel has allowed humans to fish in a way that they were not able to before, as supported by experiences from angler and YouTube personality known as John B. or John Barzacchini. This image is seen from one of this individual's fishing trips that he documented in which he caught the bass on a modern-day baitcasting reel. His YouTube channel is dedicated to documenting fishing experiences while using the reel, including a video such as this one. Oh God. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. God. Yeah, it's a tank. <laughs> Look at that. That's I'm, I'm like totally speechless, I don't even know what to say. As it can be seen, George Schneider's modern day fishing reel has contributed to a great amount to the human experience of passion towards the sport of fishing. Regarding the value of this design in relation to business, the photo shown is an image from TackleWarehouse.com, which is one of the most popular websites to order fishing gear from. This image specifically shows Shimano brand baitcasting reels, yet there are hundreds of other brands that offer various models, promising their own benefits and improvements. Because of this, there is great competition between businesses that utilize George Snyder's basic design of the baitcasting reel. Therefore, a great emphasis is placed on them regarding business in the market. George Snyder's design is also very important and relevant to the social and cultural factors around fishing. Fishing is often a social sport or hobby in which friends and family get together and spend a day on the lake. It is often an act of bonding and entertainment as well. Therefore, the design of the modern-day baitcasting reel is socially and culturally important because it is involved in these human experiences and overall culture of fishing. It is the essential component of fishing due to it being one of the most common reels for experienced bass fishermen. 
As these social and cultural practices are occurring, the design of the modern-day baitcasting reel is at the forefront in the hands of the user. This design is successful in all three realms because it has still remained relevant today in regards to the reel business, in addition to it maintaining its position at the forefront of fishing, which is why it is successful in the cultural and social realms as well. Media has certainly influenced how this design is viewed to fit in the world. The image above is an advertisement for the Shimano Metanium MGL baitcasting reel, a top-of-the-line reel that not only boasts cutting-edge technology, but a fishing lifestyle as well. The modern-day baitcasting reel is often advertised by various fishing reel companies such as Abu Garcia as the ideal way to fish. To connect this to the topic of media and consumerism, fishing reel companies often advertise the reel in the sense of it being part of a lifestyle. The baitcasting reel is also associated with recreation and spending time with friends and family. This reel has been used throughout all forms of media, including popular lifestyle and social media outlets such as Fishing the Midwest, Bass Resource, Lunkers TV, AP Bassing, and many other outlets and individuals popular within the media that utilize and cover the modern day fishing reel on a daily basis. Owning a baitcasting reel elevates you as a fisherman and many advertisements seem to promise that you will become a better fisherman if you use their reel. Regarding the design of the modern day baitcasting reel in relation to consumerism, the ideology of the design is associated with consumerism and branding in which the products are not merely functional but act as indicators in human relationships and lifestyles as well. Individuals consume products of this design because it will result in social belonging and experiences, can signify status and identify as an angler, and purchases of the design products are often a result of media influence.